Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is How It Started, How It's Going, a series where we catch up with cast members who started their career on a Disney program. So tell us your name. My name is Miles. I'm a coordinator on the communication events team. So what does that mean? Tell me a little bit about your role. So in my role and on my team, anytime we're bringing media or influencers to Walt Disney World to showcase the wonderful things we do here, my team logistically plans and curates those experiences. That's so fun. What's your favorite part about your job? I would have to say the unique storytelling opportunities that we get. Every event comes with its own like messaging topics and activations that we're trying to showcase at the parks. So the story that we're crafting for our guests is so, so unique to each event. Yeah, I'm sure you've gotten to tell so many incredible stories. Oh, absolutely. It's one of like the best parts of the job. What's been one of your favorite projects you've gotten to work on or stories you've gotten to tell? I would have to say definitely our Celebrate Soulfully events. We did it last year and this year as well for Black History Month. We brought mm -hmm. a bunch of young adult black influencers to kind of showcase what we were doing here to celebrate Soulfully and like uplift black culture and experience here at Walt Disney World and to craft an experience where I could watch other black people fall in love with Disney the way that I do and the way that I did. It like really just like hit that special part of my brain and it's one of the like things I'm proudest to have been a part of. That's amazing. That's so yeah. special. How did you get started with the company? So I actually did a college program back in 2022. Really? Mm -hmm. What was your role? I was at QSR's Quick Service Food and Beverage at Amaretta Disney Springs. Really? Yeah. You want to go visit? Oh, for sure. All right, so Miles, do you come to visit Amaretta a lot or is this your first time back since your CP? Oh no, I absolutely love it here. I used to pick up all the time when I was at the water parks. I make sure to always visit on my days off if I'm at Springs. It literally is one of my happy places on property. Yeah, so safe to assume you have a lot of good memories from your college program? Oh, 100%. Half of them are centered around the food here, <laughs> but fully. What was one of your favorite parts about working here? Food is my love language. I think there's nothing that can't be solved by a good plate of food or a good snack. And Amaretta is the perfect place to do that. Our menu was like ever changing. There's literally desserts themed around holidays, movie anniversaries. Like if you can find a reason to give it a themed dessert, they will do it here. So I absolutely love that there's always something new going on. Plus like we are blessed enough to have an in-house pastry team who I've grown to like love so deeply and dearly. So to be able to see the process of how these desserts go from conceptualization to like actually in the gym case presented to guests, amazing. So when you got your college program location, you got placed at Amaretha Patisserie, what was your reaction? Were you excited to be here? Did you want to be in the parks? What was it like working at Disney Springs? So honestly, I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun because you know in the parks and the resorts, everything is so very niche and themed to mm -hmm. Disney. So I love getting to come to Springs and see how we merge that Disney storytelling with these real world operating participants. So on your time on your college program, what are some skills that you learned that you think have helped you in your career now? Honestly and truly, I would say the ability to make like a game time decision and stick to it. You know, if it's the Christmas rush, you have a line out the door, but you're running low on desserts, but one cast member is struggling with something else, and you also have to go talk to your leader about something, you have to like take all of that information in and make a decision and be able to stick by it. Mm -hmm. And that's like fully transitioned into my role now. As event planners, like we try and plan for every eventuality, correct? However, that does not mean that no. events are not without surprises. Yes. So we really do have to be able to, when that surprise comes, take in all that information and make a game time decision on how we are gonna find a solution to this problem. Mm -hmm. And we have to take it and we have to run with it and sometimes justify it later. So that's a skill that I've taken directly from my CP to my role now. That's amazing. I feel like people don't realize what kind of transferable skills come out of your college program. Oh, like 100%. And every different area has its own different skill sets mm -hmm. that you can learn. And they all really will tie back in whatever your next journey is. So how long have you been here? I have been here for about three months. Beforehand, I was at the Contemporary Resort Bakery for another four months. So overall, about six-ish so far. I have a very, very important question. And this will make or break this interview. <laughs> what is your current favorite dessert that we have in the gym case? My favorite right now is the Vanilla Claire. It is very much my favorite. So. In the future, I really do want to go full-time here at Disney World. What advice would you have for me to further that? Continue to work towards that goal, but past being like working hard, 
get connected with your leaders, get connected with your proprietors and the leaders in your area, because we as like program people, we only know our small network, uh, network of people. However, our leaders who have been in this company for years and have touched so many different areas, their network is exponentially greater than what ours is. So get connected with your leaders and explain to them what your career goals are and what it is you're looking to do in the company. Nine times out of 10, they know someone in that area that they can get you connected to. So that just opens up another world of opportunity. What was your favorite area to work in here at Amaretz? So my personal favorite thing was to be artist and create the crepes. Normally I do not cook. Normally that is not my strong suit at all, but they made it so easy. Plus it was so much fun to just like completely be in your own world back there creating like 10 crepes in 25 minutes. I know working back there when y'all are making the crepes smells so good. That is probably the hardest thing about crepes is that you're there for like two hours making crepe after crepe and you don't get to eat any of it. Yeah, I would be struggling with it too. It was so fun to visit Emirates with you. I love going back every chance I get, so I'm glad I got to take you. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course. So Miles. Yes. Quick service is obviously very different from the role you're doing now. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for participants who might get a role that doesn't exactly align with their career goals? No matter where you're at in the Disney company, there's so many things to learn and connections to make and ways to like develop your skill set. So really go into it with an open mind and you'll be surprised by how much having that intentionality will just transform your overall experience. I think going into it with an open mind is the best advice you can give. So as someone who has successfully built a career with the Walt Disney Company after your program, would you say that a Disney program is valuable? I truly would not be standing where I am today without my program. It gives you like a safe way to explore the company and learn different things about it. Mm -hmm. And then there's also like the programs team that literally their job consists of making sure that you are set up for finding that career or finding what your next is. I met my current boss, Marita, who I love with everything in me, at a panel hosted by the programs okay. team. So like there's all the value in the world. So safe to say you would recommend a Disney program? Oh, 100%. I think it's crazy to not want to do one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the sky's the limit and the magic that we create here is not just for our guests, it's also for us as cast members. So truly, like all you need is a little faith, trust, and pixie dust, and all of your dreams can come, like, come true. I love that. That's the perfect yeah. way to end it. Thank I you so much, Of course. Miles. Thank you for having me. Of course. We have absolutely loved yes. hearing your story and you know, getting to see where you started versus where you are now. Yes. Because if you have to start somewhere, why not here?